Good morning. Sorry, sorry, I'm a little bit late. Um, go ahead and close that up. I didn't actually mean to exit iTunes. Right, let me take care of that real quick. Hi. Uh, good morning, Luke. Good morning, Pause. Thank you for the lurk. I do appreciate it. If you can even hear this right now. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little late. I don't know what happened last night. I distinctly remember plugging my phone in. And I guess at some point, I unplugged it um, while I was sleeping and never plugged it back in. Ended up running out of battery and my alarm didn't go off because of that, so. Mm hmm. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a little late. Oh well, shit happens, right? Anyway, but we're here now, and sorry, I am just finishing up playing my phone game, because I didn't have time to do that yet. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a, uh, a good morning. Oh, yes. Thank you, Luke, for reminding me. I, I, it's my own thing, and I always forget to put it in the, in the title. I had a sticky note somewhere that reminded me to do it and I don't know where it went. There we go. Updated Saturday morning cartoons. All right. Let's go ahead and open Digimon up. While I mess around on my phone a little bit more. Okay. Oh, yeah. Also, my, my tummy's doing something weird. So if I end up just like disappearing for a while, you'll know why. Unload this up. Yeah, our um, TTRPG last night was a little on the weird side. Because if people have not heard, there's, uh, there's some shit going down with Dungeons and Dragons at the moment. And Wizards of the Coast being a steaming pile of shit. So, unfortunately... We're going to be looking into other other means from now on. Our campaign is coming to an end, so... Um, like, we, like, yesterday was our actual last one using mechanics. It's all going to be, like, like, story next week, so... Let's see if I'm forgetting anything else in the game. I probably need to, like, buy stuff, but I'm just going to... Just gonna call it there. Uh, what's going on with our Digimon? All right, Waspmon, Rathmon, Inframon. We still got Vegemon. We got Lekismon. Okay. We're gonna go to the Digi Lab and get Waspmon all healed up. Ooh. Yeah, my my side is doing something really weird. I'm hoping it's not like appendicitis, but you know, we'll see what happens. All right, defense 95 and we're at 94. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe we'll do like a side mission or two, and then we'll probably be able to level Wasmon up, hopefully. Yeah, lost shit for them. Hmm. Yeah. 
Anti Agumon League, Anti Devimon League. I, wish, I don't know if we've done this one yet. Sure, we'll do this one. Oh, but who should I ask to join us? Uh, I mean, it's going to be Ryuji and uh, Chitosei, so. I wish I got more partners for that, but maybe I just got to continue the story to do so. I thought this was the anti-Devimon League, not the anti-these-are-bad-guys-from-season-one of Digimon League. But they're also not anti-those things. So it's just the bad guys from Digimon League. Seriously, it's like the first three big bads they fought. Oh well. Hope everyone else is doing okay today. It's uh it's very rainy out where I am, which is making me sad. Morning, what's up, Grim? How you doing? Uh oh. It's my hacking business. Oh yeah, it's your hacking business. Um. I don't really think we need the the stun chance, right? Kill a time with the vet. Fireball is unhappy. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is I'm hoping it's just like uh, a checkout. I'm doing okay today. I woke up late because I was just I was saying earlier my phone got unplugged last night somehow, despite me knowing I plugged it in. So. Oh, Figleaf's here too. Hi, Figleaf. Good morning. I feel like shit because COVID boosty. I want to sleep. Go sleep. Fig leaf? That's what your body's telling you. Do it. Hope you feel better soon, though. Alright. Let's do... This is... Yeah, this is our vaccine. Golden Triangle. Okay. Uh, spider shooter. Spider shooter! I should watch a Digimon movie again sometime. I love that movie. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I even love the Angela and Anaconda bed, despite it objectively being fucking terrible. It's just so nostalgic for me now. Yeah, just checking his thyroid fireball is unchain me human. I cannot be contained. <laughs> oh, fireball. At least he'll definitely get a treat when you go home, right? Like definitely get a treat. Uh, green flare breath, sure. And metal cannon. We're not gonna kill it. Pummel whack! I saw the Angel Anaconda bit again recently and was like, ew, I like this show. The show looks gross. It really does look bad. It's just like, why, why is all of their skin, like, gray I get it some sort of like art thing but it's just it looks oh it looks so bad
I have trees to calm down, but he's not eating them out of spite. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. He's like, I know what these treats are. You're going to impair me with them. Never. Hey, that's the defense up we needed. Hell yeah. I'm not I'm not reading all of this. Um there's still room for you to improve. Oh hell yeah. Maybe we can go on a date with Ryuji soon. Wouldn't that be great? Hmm. Not bad. I got <clears throat> I should say that this is not sponsored, as always. But I got my I got more free samples from uh, Gamer Sups, and this one was the um, Misfits Melon. Tastes pretty good. Not sponsored. Never sponsored. I want to be sponsored. Never sponsored. Actually, speaking of sponsorship. I'm gonna. I, I actually forget what the company was. It was some like mobile game or some shit, I think. But I got a sponsorship on Stream Elements, right? And it was for zero dollars. <laughs> now, while I'm sure it was probably a uh, typo on their part, I was like, "Are you? Do you seriously just want me to promote your shit for free? What is this?" So I like I sent them, um, not not a message. I sent them feedback that was just like, I don't know if this is a typo or if you really think I would do this for zero dollars. But like, uh, either make sure you're typing this properly or get the fuck out of my face. I have a little more self-respect than that. Zero dollars. God, I could pro actually I could probably find out. I don't know if I want to like burn that bridge per se in case they come back and they're like, oh sorry, sorry, no, we meant this much. But um Yeah, let's see. Let's see if I can find it again, honestly. Um revenue sponsorships, here we go. Yeah, uh, stream this game, reach your goal, and earn up to zero dollars. 92% of the stream is your size and type successfully complete the goals. Like, no fucking shit is <laughs> zero dollars. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's see. There's just a bunch of Q&A stuff. Yeah, I won't say the company just in case, but like, fucking really? Uh, the mango one was fine. The guacamole one didn't taste like guacamole, so I don't know what they were going. On. Well, they're not. So the guacamole one is not supposed to taste like guacamole. It's supposed to taste like guacamole gamer farts. So. So wait, you got a mango one? Cause I got a melon one. Uh, I don't know what they're going for and blue is so gross. I took one sip and threw it out. Ooh I'm too cheap to be able to do that uh, Who else do we have we have rapid one on the team um, We don't have any of the others so Yeah, plus the name was off-putting so The blue or the other one I don't know, like, I'm not usually bothered by, like, names, so. Um, okay. So, if we get Rapid Mom, we have to reroll, but anything else is fair game, so. Of course.
Fuck. Excuse me. Oh, Coolamon. Here we go. Probably the one I wanted the least. All right. I don't know. I kind of like the Coagamon family. They're pretty nice. They're they're a cool um counterpart to the uh Kabuterimon family, so. Vegemon, we're still working on. Yeah. Rapidmon, that case one, we're actually doing pretty good. Attack 75, where you at right now? Attack 74, oh! All right, I would really love Antilamon. I actually, I really like Antilamon's design. I don't know what it is about it, but for some reason, I just, I, I adore its design. It might be like the long gangly arms, but I think it's neat. I just don't know why you name something you want me to drink gamer fart. It's, I don't know, man. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you that. I ain't part of that crowd, so. Uh, let's move. Mm. This is the hard part, cause Lekismon, I want to level up. But Vegemon, I think, is our starter. Yeah. All right, we're gonna move Vegemon out just for one mission. I'm gonna do another domination battle, cause of course we have a bunch of those. And we're going to this PC, yes. We're gonna level up um like a spawn just so I can did you bulb them? Um in Eden. This is a domination battle. This is an easy one too, so we'll just do that. Oh, I should take two people, but who's it gonna be? We'll take Chitose and you. I take Ryuji on like all of these if I can. Let's get hacking. Oh, all my tire just hit me at once too again. Ugh. Ugh. Oh yeah, uh Bloody Mess and Dosha Chai last night from uh D and D were able to help me find a certain cosplay item that I was hoping to get. And it is a little expensive, but I think the rest of the cosplay is gonna be so cheap that I don't mind too much. Um For anyone who's been watching Chainsaw Man there's a certain character in that named the Violence Fiend that I really would like to uh, cosplay, so. And I think I have the means to do just that now. <laughs> Granted, so the, the colors of the Violence Fiend's mask are different between like the colored manga and the anime. So I'm gonna have to determine um what i want to do about that bonk hmm i could try to get rid of toy agamon okay Double scissor claw. Hmm. We'll do nano machine break though. On you. Deleted. I can't remember if I watched Digimon Ghost Game last week or not. Guess I'll have to check.
Oh no, it's a Patamon. I'm so scared. No, just attack it. You two in for a moment. We'll just, we'll just save your SP for now. And then you can nano machine break it. Ghost game finally feels like they're actually going to do something after like, what, 50 something episodes? Block you in. Granted, you could move elsewhere, but I know you're gonna attack me. Oh no, Hydro Water! Don't give my Inframon a bath! Let's see what happens if I do my all attacks. Do I have enough to kill any one of them? Oh, you don't even have any all attacks. Okay, we'll just break the pat on them. I still need to learn, like, the elemental weaknesses in this game. I just haven't done that. Or if I did, I completely forgot them. And that's a victory. Yay! Oh, we get closer to you now. Um, you don't need to worry. Oh, I didn't get the hearts. I fucked up. Now I can't date you. What was that Digiline? Ooh. Pop quiz, what color are King Edamon's gloves and boots? Ooh, I don't know. I want to say blue. But I think I'm wrong. Hey, two new cases. Let's see. Nasty Hackers in Eden. Anti Gardramon League. Golemon losses shit again. Oh my god. Go to the lab. Okay, Lekismon. Uh, we can get any one of these, I believe, so. Whatever it ends up landing on. Hey, Antilamon. Neat. Uh, we gotta move Digimon. So we're gonna put Vegemon back in our party. Cool. Oh, Yokomon's at max. We can go ahead and make a Yokomon. Farm. 
investigate. All right. I think with three ultimates now, we're probably good to continue the story. Probably. Probably. Wherever that story might be. I, I probably should have checked with Mirai before I left, huh? Mm. Hello. I uh, think we lost the girl in front of the escalator on the first floor. Knock oh, right, okay. Right. Forgot about her. Gotta go all the way to Nakano, though. Ugh. I mean, I could also check the tournament while I'm here. All right, there's one more, one more floor up. Uh, fine. I want to fight more tournaments. Oh, that's the wrong. Okay. Oops. Uh, let's go down the stairs then. I know her. She's a little spacey, huh? What's she staring at? The next issue of Nakano Walking is coming soon. Which restaurant takes the title of Ramen King? New restaurant profile, unlimited dessert refills. Oh. Research on the best place to get dessert? Because I think we found it. You could say that. You're welcome. Hello? Hey, I got it right. Um, was that it? You want anything useful for me? Not really. I can't use the phone for some reason, but I can use the elevator to go to the top. Oh wait, no, isn't there a thing in the first? Well, maybe there isn't. 
No, I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of a capsule machine. I don't know why. Oh, so I meant to go to the Digilab and not Eden. I am more tired than I thought. Digilab. I might be lost. Your faded hour doesn't have arrived yet. Try solving some more cases. Okay. I thought that was something else we had to do as well, but I guess it's just this. <coughs> Pardon me. Someone went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> it's all those misfits in the melon. What's our friends? Eh, nothing too useful. I need more memory ups. I want to find out about friendship, <clears throat> but it's hard for me to look uh, look into it. Could you maybe find the materials? Sure. I guess. What do you mean by a book about friendship? I'll meet with Yuko Kamashira at Nakano Broadway first. I had to come all the way here to accept the mission and go all the way back. <clears throat> Ooh. I already had a headache before, you know, all that coughing. Oh. My headphones are squeezing my head a little bit too. I probably didn't help. <clears throat> There are how to books on how to be a friend. I mean, I guess there's how to books on like everything, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Is this really a mission I have to... Alright. 
It's an unusual case, but she seems serious. I'll start looking. So what kind of friendship books are we going to find? Ryuji, Chitose, and Erika must be in the cafe. I'll start by asking Ryuji if he could recommend any books. It would be like The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Do you have anything useful for me? No. No, not really. Hmm. Mm. Oh, okay. It's voiced. I know the perfect one. It's called Yu-Gi-Oh. Have you heard of it? Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. <clears throat><笑> There are two books. Which one should I borrow? Gangster Girls or Eternal Rivals? What about Gangster Girls? It's like similar enough to River City Girls, probably. So. Or maybe it's like JoJo's Part 5, but with the Part 6 characters. Although, I, sense, I guess since the girls in Part 6 are all you know, in prison. There are already gangster girls, potentially. Um, Jolene Baskerel, she's pretty great, I will say. Especially, like... I know we've had some, like, good women in JoJo's before, but, like, this is the first time that like i feel like they were written well if that makes any sense it was like they're not just part of the plot they're they're actual characters i haven't even watched part six yet i'm like halfway through i think i think i've said it on stream before but just in case i'll say it again um not part three no definitely not in part three part three is like the worst um but yeah, like, Netflix dropping JoJo's Part 6 in chunks was, like, the absolute worst decision they could do. Because if they did the Netflix style, where they dropped it all at once, people could just binge all of it if they wanted to. Great. Awesome. Um, but you can't, you couldn't do that until they dropped all the parts. But at the same time, if they did it weekly... They're not getting the traction on Twitter that they could have been. So, like they 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 handled it so incredibly poorly. It sucks. The only woman in part three is Jonathan's mom, and she's just a MacGuffin. Yeah, and the villain. Yeah, there's like a f like what three villains? Four? Excuse me, four villains that are female in part three. It wasn't. It's a sausage fest. It really is. I don't want to like get into spoilers too much because I'm, I'm sure there are people here who haven't seen JoJo's but like I think part six also just like didn't really have any women too right I, I can't remember any of like the the villains but none of them really stood out enough I guess and part four did I said parts I'm part five part five like the gangster one didn't have any women um Part four had like a few here and there as well. And one even like returned, but um, that was like basically it. Yeah, 
Anyway, part six is pretty great. And I think the entire thing is actually out on Netflix now. So if you haven't seen JoJo's part six, check it out. Okay. I like this gangster assertive Yuko. She should hold on to that attitude. Yeah. I feel like Yuko and Erika would get along. Or hate each other. One or the other. Always with the books with you. Ryuji's book doesn't seem quite right. Chitosu has lots of friends. I'm sure he'll have something useful. It's gonna be like a how to pick up women book or something. I thought he was in the cafe. So what are friends like? Oh, we're actually, um... So what are your friends like? They're all great. They're so cool. Ah. Uh, can I actually go? No. Oh, okay. I didn't even notice her. Chitose, you went in to hand out flyers. I think he's near the cafe somewhere. Looks like Chitose's out. I'll look for him. Let's go do the... Uh, what? Oh, I accidentally selected the, uh, the other thing. You know, let's look at all the shirts that we spent money on. They're like all the same ones that we had before. Ah. Oh. That's actually pretty funny. I don't know, I kind of like just the jacket. I think the jacket's cool. Uh, somewhere near the cafe. I think he might have wandered off a little bit. Unless you mean like a cafe or down here? Oh, okay. Yeah, Shinjin. <sighs> I have to be friends with somebody. You carry them around? There are two books. Which one should I borrow? How to hook up with young hotties or 101 ways to find the perfect lady. Wow, Chisosa, you're so deep. Um, I guess the second one. Okay, go to that.
なんだかどっちもナンパの本みたいだってその通りだけどよく考えてみろまずはお友達になることから始めるそれがナンパだ I mean that's true つまり I don't think there's any like I personally don't think there's love at first sight there's attraction at first first sight of course but um I, I, I feel like love is actually something that you have to build so. can you build it in like you know a day or a week yeah probably I'm pretty skeptical skeptical but I can't hurt to try but um yeah, romance should always start with friendship. Oh, I found a book. I don't know about useful. Go back to the gangster one, please. <laughs> Yeah, just like a friend, you got it. You nailed it. Not really. Look, it was either that or, you know, how to pick up hotties, so... I wonder if her dialogue even changes between the choices, because, like... I feel like the dialogue for this one and even the last one could have been the same for either book we picked. Hey, what? How are you doing today? How goes Digimon, Sean? What's up, Cat? How are you, my friend? Uh, we're doing okay today. I'm kind of tired, personally, but that that's because of my, uh... Own fault, I guess. How are you? How was your Saturday? If I can find another book. I'm good. Today is my stream anniversary. I'm excited. Ooh. I some guilty gear with fig leaf. Ooh. That's very nice. Here. Uh, let's go ahead and give you a shout out. And then also a shout out. Everyone, please go check out a friendly visiting cat's channel. They're a wonderful streamer who streams, if I'm not mistaken, a wide variety of things, uh, such as Pokemon Black and White, as we can see, and uh, Guilty Gear, as we've already heard. So there you go. Erica's about the same age. Maybe she can choose a good book. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. If I don't get to say it later, happy stream anniversary. But I will definitely try to make it for at least a little while. 
Erica's a girl. She should know about female friends. I don't know if Erica knows about friends. But does she actually have any female friends? <gasps> She's in my brain. それで、病人の資料探し。なんでそんな依頼受けたの? There are two books. Which one should I borrow? An unexpected love story or the student body president and me? Isn't that also like one of those anime that's airing? All right, I don't know. I don't think we need an unexpected love story. This one also sounds like a love story, but it's not labeled as such, I guess. Why do you have, like, two things that are like, whatever? Uh -huh. Where's the Baka? You're supposed to be a Baka. Where's the Baka? There's supposed to be an earth shattering Baka. I think Erica is the one who needs a book about friendship. Anyway, I've got what I came for. I better get back to you. Go. I can't believe it's already been a year. I know COVID times are weird, but it still doesn't feel like a year. Everyone learned a lot. So it's been a great time. Time well spent. Yeah, it's nice. Streaming is just like pretty fun. You get to share your thoughts with a lot of people. You get to meet a lot of people. It's pretty great. Especially during COVID when I didn't get to do that a whole lot. <laughs> I, I don't think this is gonna fly, Yuko, but all right. Not really. I'm pretty shy, so I didn't think that streaming would be fun for me. Or it would be for me. I tend to avoid putting myself at the center of things, but everyone has made it manageable for me. Yeah, no, Kat, I am exactly the same way. I, I don't tend to like to have this... Um, I don't like to have the spotlight on me usually. I prefer it on other people. Um, I also have very, very low self-confidence. So like, I made it a point to be like, okay, if I'm gonna stream, I'm doing it with a camera. Cause if I don't do it with a camera, I won't feel like a streamer, even though I hate my face, so. So my main takeaway from streaming people are actually pretty out. They can be, yeah. Like you'll, when you throw yourself out into a sea of people, you're bound to meet a few that are a little unsavory, but for the most part, people are pretty good, so.
Oh yeah, I still got the book you lent me. He forced it on me because he thought I'd be uh, I'd be into young adult sci-fi novels. It might work. I've had a book with me this entire time. Gave the heart of an expressionless android dream. Quick, someone call Tom. Right now, everyone, but there's a lot of awesome people out there. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I've personally been very lucky and haven't had any major issues with people. That's nice. For me, it's mostly like I haven't had any major issues either. It'll just be the occasional like. <sighs> Actually, I don't think I've met anyone. Perfect. I don't think I've met anyone um, that I've necessarily been like, "Ooh, I have, I have issues with you." I just know what I know what happens. You know, it's mostly bots. I hate the bots. Um, Tom would be like, "I know we need a ramen food truck right in the middle of the mall." Occasional person being creepy or weird. Yeah. Like, I won't go into details, but I definitely had a stream where, like, a few people came in back to back, and I was kind of like, this is uncomfy. Um, but other than that, like, it's been smooth sailing, so. Yeah, the boss are unfortunate. Yeah, I mm, that that I think is just like any sort of social media, anything. I don't know if you could consider Twitch social media, but like it is media and it is social, so I guess it fits the practical definition. Anyway, there's always gonna be boss of some sort. It sucks. <laughs> Uh-huh. Also, how did she get the inflection from just reading the book? Like, how does she know to have, like, a gruff, angry voice from, like, the Gangster Girls one? Or, like... The more yandere ones from the, uh, I guess not yandere. You know what I mean. Like, the, the, how did she know? Actually, hold on, let me pick this up a little bit. Enjoy your lurk, Luke. Much appreciated. この資料とても気に入りました。こんなにいい資料を持っているなんて。さすがですね。あなたに頼んで良かったです。これと同じ本を探して、これから練習してみようと思います。オッケー。さん、いろんな練習もできましたし、なんだか自信がつきました。あな
Ooh, okay. Uh, pop quiz, which Digimon results when Ankylomon DNA digivolves with Angelmon? It is Shakulamon. Didn't even need to see the answers. Cause I'm a huge fucking nerd. <clears throat> I mm, okay. Didn't expect that if I'm being honest. Game acting like we haven't watched anime. Why the fuck would we be here if we haven't seen all of the anime ever? I still have. <laughs> oh, I still haven't seen all of um, part four or five. I think I've seen most of four, but I caught it in like just random glimpses. Because it was like whatever was airing on JetX. And then part five, I was just like, nope. No, thank you. Uh, I think Cross Wars I watched all of. Applymon I watched like the first episode of and I was just fucking done. No, thank you. Um... Parts. No, not Apamon. And then Adventure 2020 was fine, but the pacing was so off. Uh, oh, Nuzlocke update. It made it through Victory Road. Congrats. I'm coming increasingly terrified as we are closer to our final encounter with N, as you should. Although, if you randomize the opponent's uh, Pokemon, maybe it won't be that bad. Who knows? Four, I actively dislike, but I used to like it. Well, that final end fight, yeah. Figly, if you're familiar with that fight, since uh, you've done it a lot. Very, yeah. Gosh, I would want to like speed run a uh, Pokemon game, but it feels like it would take so long. Want to believe that, but N has killed every run so far. Two big threats. I have been random legendaries and just N. Just N coming out of nowhere and clotheslining your Pokemon to death. The N jet uh, gets this fight is very particular. Oh yeah. I believe that. Like you, ha since you have to go through the game, Fast. Like your Pokemon are going to be under leveled for that fight, so. Depending on the game, Glitchless is like three to six hours. Yeah. Actually, if anything, I want to learn. If I was going to speedrun anything, I think I actually want it to be a Kirby game. Because Kirby games can be very, very short if you know what you're doing. And that would give me a lot of room for like. Um, retries if I want to. The most recent version is actually Stoutland. Oh, really? I knew you were using, um, Embor for most of it. But it takes two minutes and I don't know how to do Oh, okay. I don't, I don't care about Jimmy Ken. <laughs> we can talk about Pokemon now, it's fine. And is like the easy one, because it's just one minute. Is it just like one minute at the beginning? Yeah! I'm honestly fine without it myself. I wonder if K is here. Yeah, to get a good Embor, that tracks. So you can just reset. Guess I better go check on Jackson. Yet another side chapter six connected girl. <laughs> I 
Uh, woo, that part-timer is an angel. Don't interfere, she's mine. Don't stand a chance, Chitose. You're manga, let me know if you find any good ones. Fair manga, Adventures of uh, Nurari Hyon. Maybe it was Bakuen Delete. I don't read manga. No, Bakuen Delete, that sounds pretty cool. If you don't get the second manip right on the Statland route, you gotta go back and do the first one again. Ugh. Ew. To write an emulator and DS capture cards are way too goddamn expensive. Yeah, they are. Anyway, I gotta take a little break, so I will be back in... Okay, we got it right. I will be back in a few minutes. Okay, we're back. Oh, sorry about that. Suddenly just had to go. Anyway, not that anyone cares about that. Uh, songs have went rent free in my head for nearly all my life. For no reason out of nowhere, my brain, you'll pay for this, Captain Planet. Me, all right. <laughs> no, same, like, when I was getting the, the playlist for that, I was like, you know what? And maybe it's not like exactly a uh, cartoon, a Saturday morning cartoon song, because it's like so old, but it's just a classic, you know? <laughs> Where was I going? I think it was a Zaxxon forum. Uh, yes, it was the Zaxxon Forum. Hello. Have you heard of a cyber sleuth? I've been hearing that term around a lot around Kowloon lately. A lot around Kowloon lately. I wonder what they're like. We'll never know. You could be a double agent. If you sell our information to demons, you're dead meat. Uh, fair enough. Hugo's not here. He's busy preparing to destroy the demons. Jimmy Ken pretended to be a Zaxxon side. But he soon showed his true colors. Hmm. Joy to answer. これからクーロンを見回る。うん。手伝いなはれ。うん。Alright, we get to go to the next level of Kowloon. That reminds me, the hacker was in front of the security wall is gone. Perfect chance to break through the security wall and head further down. Oh, under Kowloon. No. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. It's a wall. Oh, yeah. What's that? Digimon is like Vespamon or something like that. Um, hmm. Tempted chance to increase base stats by 10%. Hmm. We'll just do Saint Knuckle for now. I will do Speed Charge on Rapidmon, though. Rapidmon's gonna be our hardest hitter at the moment, so... Digimon is amazing because sometimes you just fight a literal wall and it's so fun. Yeah, like I still gotta strategize around this. It's great. 
Uh, we'll start doing golden triangle. Yeah, cross up. Let's go. Okay, that wasn't as much as I was hoping, but still. Uh, wait, I think we need to do accuracy. Let's just try the double scissor claw. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going triangle. <clears throat> and spider shooter. Hey. So glad we got that defense down. So helpful. Hello? Shaking farm trees makes fruit fall. I love them, but I can't take too much. I mean, you could take as much as you want if no one's looking. Under Kowloon reminds me of the Undernet from like Mega Man Battle Network. That's something people want to see eventually, right? Mega Man Battle Network when the uh, collection comes out. Like some games have DPS or like a gate you progress. This does it. It's basically a real gate. It's so funny. Yeah, you actually have to fight the wall. No need to recover. Oh, I really should have put them on investigation. Oops. That's good because it's a straightforward problem. Do you just end up thinking about team comp? Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest. I haven't been thinking about team comp whatsoever because I've just been having... No, I, not, not, not the game, but just kind of random chance do it for me. So, speaking of which... Uh... Max SP. Okay. I think we can actually get to 75. And max defense, we can definitely get to 95. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're not going to be able to Digivolve for a while. Same with you. And same with you. Yeah, but you know, Digimon. This is my first Digimon game, so for me, I was like, ooh, how do I crack this? Oh, this is your first one. Nice. Uh, my first one was Digimon World 2 back on the PlayStation 1. Although, I think I only played it when the PlayStation 2 came out. I'm trying to think of the other game. The, here's the problem with Digimon, right? They don't import a lot of the games, so I think the only one I played beyond that... I think think was Digimon World Dusk and like the main game for Cyber Sleuth after that this game is most fun you'll have attack and flat surfaces absolutely absolutely intelligence 70 or intelligence okay we're getting there we're getting there Ooh, Greymon can Digivolve. Uh, how are you? Defense? Ooh. It's gonna take a while. Level 32. Okay. And you'll, you'll be able to get there. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cam 25%? Oh, actually. I know what to do about that. I know what to do about it. We got 20 digi meats. Eat up. Actually, I played Digimon World way back in the day, but I had no idea what I was supposed to do. Well, I still Digimon, but I could never actually get into it. But I know how much people play, uh, who play and watch, you know, waiting my way in. I mean, honestly, good for you. <laughs> I actually do remember, I think I did rent Digimon World before Digimon World 2. And it's it's not easy. They don't tell you what to do. And even the guidebooks straight up lie to you. So, like, I cannot blame anyone for not being able to play that game. 
Okay, uh, what's your cam at? Oh, 33? Alright, we're, we are all good then. Digimon World is something I kind of want to revisit at some point, but at the same time, I would be dreading it. So. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever actually go to it. Um, do we have, do we have Peckmon at least? I don't think so. Shit, okay. All right. We're hoping for XVmon or Aquilamon. Stigmon again. All right, whatever. Stigmon's cool. Better than Pac-Mon. I've always hated like the the Falcomon line so much. Just looks like do 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 me. All right, what are we doing here? Yeah, and I did not get RPGs back in those days. It took Paper Mario for me to understand the genre and get into it. I played Pokemon, but I never understood. I was this kid. I just went in with my favorite little friends and made sure they were bubbled. I mean, yeah, that's how everyone did it, right? Hold on. Hey, Metal Greymon Blue, let's fucking go. Um. Yeah, no, I mean, I feel like that's what everyone did, right? Back in the day, like, my Charizard, whenever, when I had my Charizard in red, its moves were, like, Ember, Flamethrower, Fire Blast, and Fire Spin. That ain't a good move set. <laughs> so. Can't blame anyone for not having a, uh, a stellar move set on their Pokemon when they were a child, you know? Uh, I think we're all good. What do you become? Ooh, ooh. All of these are so cool. I legit love um, Gaiomon, I think you're supposed to pronounce it. I love this design. It is so fucking cool. It's also supposed to be the Digimon, like, so in Digimon, there's a thing called like the X Factor. So like you would get like War Greymon X because it has the, 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 the X antibody. Black War Greymon's X form is Gaiomon. But then they also made a Black War Greymon X, so. Uh, I thought Rage was a really good move. So actually, actually, Cat, um, in Gen 1, it sucks. But in Gen 2, apparently, it's like the best move. Like, if you're going to speed run Gen 2, you get Totodile, you have it learn Rage, and that's the only thing you use as long as you're not fighting a ghost or something. From what I understand. From what I understand. I could be wrong, I'm not a speedrunner, but that's what I believe I've heard. Uh, I think we're all good in here. I think we're all good in here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll speedrun Gen 2 sometime. That'd be really bad, right? I'd probably hate myself afterwards. I, I gotta learn how to play a Kirby game first. Um, why, why are you wearing a hockey mask? Very reminiscent of a specific horror movie antagonist. He's close. Are you and Hootie? I didn't think they were planning to grow the team. Uh-huh. I believe that Pokemon is broken in ways that defy all logic. It's, it really is, especially the Game Boy games. It's so funny. Uh. Also, when I was in favor of Kirby speedruns, he's just, he's such a little guy, it's great. I want to do one that's like, I don't know, I would probably start with the first one, just, just to like get my feet wet. I have, so I didn't time it, but like way back in the day, I did, before I even knew what a speed run was, I was like, hmm, I like Portal, but I've already beaten it so many times. Let me see how fast I can do it. I didn't get the exact time, but it was like just under an hour. And I thought, I thought that was really good. Apparently the speed run's like 
less than 15 minutes or something like that so oops uh he's my little baby so pure and good i uh, kirby's so great i need to like play all of kirby's like side games still but i think i played most of the main ones the only ones i haven't played are the i think it's dreamland 2 and 3. I should fix that sometime. Maybe I'll play them on stream. If they ever add them to uh, the virtual console. Uh-huh. I kind of wish they threw in like just a little pun there just behave yourself and we could be like wait what because their hair is I think supposed to be like beehives so she's got Vespa on Oh, this area seems short. How dare you defile our territory with your filthy soul. When the black messenger roars, you will be destroyed. Did we just get into a tamer battle? The fuck? Um, it doesn't really matter too much who I hit. Spider shooter. That does remind me, I should probably check the moves that they've been learning. Because I have been learning moves and I haven't replaced anything yet. Settings, cool mon. What do we got? So we have Thunderfall 1. <clears throat> this is only 70 accurate. I think replacing that with Thunderfall to be able to hit everything is probably the move. Uh, you have, let's see. I wish I could reorganize these two. Because I, re I really just want to do that. Uh, you can do critical charge. Aura. Hmm. You know what? Neutral damage. That's fine. I'd probably just stick with Wind Claw and Saint Knuckle anyway. So we, I don't need that. Critical charge is nice, but also not necessary. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually add aura. Um, put that down there. Cause that'll be useful for domination battles potentially. Also, do we have, I don't have any SP attached. Okay, we, that's something we can fix too. I don't have any accessories for you. Uh, we could just throw two things on here. Destruction cannon, right. I forgot you learned that. Uh, we can learn that over heavy, heavy strike. Rather have the uh, dark on there. And have you learned anything new? No. No, because you're just a fucking Vegemon again. Damn it. I am home from dentist. Yay! How'd it go, Paws? How are your teeth? Um, I can just add some defense. 
We will also do, do, do acceleration. New. Teeth are nice and clean now. Hell yeah. What I miss? Um. We were talking about Digimon and a little bit of Pokemon and speed running. Pretty, pretty average stuff. I'm about to punch this little devil man. All right, uh, try destruction cannon. Pew. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I don't know when Diaboramon became one of my favorite lines in Digimon, but like, it's so good. It's such a good Digimon line. It's not even like a really a Digimon half the time, so. I missed what she said. Oh well. Ooh, Kurisarimon. Hot damn. Uh, we'll Saint Knuckle this one. Bonk. And... Crescent Leaf. Doesn't really matter. I don't know why, but I absolutely love Demi Devimon. Such a little nugget. He's such like, a little scamp. This nugget does crime. Love him. It's got to be like the three face. Like he's got the little like cat lips. You know? It's got to have something to do with that. I do like a lot of the Devimon variants too, but that's because uh, I used to think myself an edgy bitch, so. And you just got Thunderfall too, hell yeah. Uh, doo -doo, restoration. This is a very good smile. Thank you so much for saving me. I thought I was d -d done for when the hackers. Oh, oh, here, have this. I got two friendships. I got two whole friendships. I did actually just get something kind of important. So let's see. Yeah, SP attach C. So that's really good. So I'll actually replace that on you as well. It's a very good smile. Such a good smile. He was also just such a little, little shit in the anime too. It was great. We haven't run into any wild Digimon in here, have we? I thought for sure that would make some Come to me. I did not see what that was, but it looked like it might have said memory up, and if it is... <gasps> Hell yeah! Ryuji's Bento. For it restores the HP and SP of one ally. Ooh. Got something to sell. And we got a bunch of recovery things. Oh, there's a wild Digimon. There's a lot of wild Digimon, holy crap. And there they go. All right. And what I gotta do is I gotta find like a, uh, A ROM hack of like Fire Red or something that just replaces everything with Digimon. Ooh, Seedramon. Oh, well, alright, bye. That should have been once, perhaps a mistake on their part. A little, a little bit. A little, a little mistake. And you have Gale Storm.
And you just nano machine break, I guess. Boop. God, there's so so many Digimon that I just they're so good. There will be a domination battle. Make sure you have three battle members. Uh, yeah, I, I can, I can do that. Uh, let me just make sure everyone's all maxed out, ready to go. Yeah. Hello. Yep. I don't I don't know who they think they're taking on here. Actually wait, I don't have another partner. Who are they taking on here? Buzz Buzz? Big Leaf just went live. Oh. There's a lot of little ways that this game works that makes me want more changes for Pokemon games. Healing from level up is so nice. Get why it wouldn't always work. But it's nice to have. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no. I, I agree. There's like. Here's the thing, right? Cat, like, you probably already know this. This is just Persona. This entire game is just Bandai went, oh, that formula really works. We're gonna steal that and throw Digimon in it. And then they did, and yeah. I mean, there's always little changes that Pokemon can do that would just make it better. And you know, every generation, they they, they take a few steps. Not a few steps, they take like, they take like a baby step that's just like, ooh. This, this one thing is just really good. This next thing in the next generation is just a, a little bit better. But it never quite gets like where you want it. Oh well. I wish we were to do it more often. Because Arceus is just like not Monster Hunter and it's great. Legends Arceus like... <sighs> The fact they took out catching wild Pokemon by just throwing a ball really made me mad. Because that was such, like, not only was that a cool addition, it just made sense. I wouldn't even mind if it was like, if you threw one ball and if it failed to catch, you instantly went into a battle. That would make perfect sense. The Pokemon's pissed and wants to fight. I get it. But the fact that you can't do even that anymore, you have to fight it first, makes it just makes me sad. Also, I know uh, Fig Leaf wasn't a fan, but I liked I liked the speed. Um, the one ball idea, yes, yeah, exactly. That's a perfect way of doing that. Yeah, it it, it just works like that, like. You know, as long as you're hiding from the Pokemon. Uh, also, Pokemon Tournament is great. Every time they take a new direction, I'm happy. Pokemon Tournament's fun. My problem with it is I wish it was either a 2D or a 3D fighting game. The fact that it switches between them, I can't wrap my head around that enough. And I always accidentally switch between two styles when I don't mean to, so. <laughs> I also, Pokemon is weird, agreed. Yeah, like I'm I'm here, I am here for a fighting game with Pokemon. Just not one that switches between styles, that's all. I wouldn't like that for any franchise. If you gave me a world ends with you fighting game that switched between a 2D and a 3D fighting style, I would beat it and I would be mad about it. <laughs> um. The other thing I wanted to say with Legends Arceus, I liked 
speed playing more of a factor. I liked how if you had a fast Pokemon, it got to, on average, move more often than a slower Pokemon. And I'm, I'm upset they took that out too. Oh, so it's just two of us. Shit. Oh, but she's got a team of Megas. Okay. It was the first time they tried something like that, and I think it's pretty good for what it is. I do think that a Pokemon fighting game should be more simple and have a much bigger roster instead of having a completely unique system. Each Pokemon having over 50 moves. I want a tag fighter where combos come from using multiple Pokemon together. That would be cool. That would I would actually like that a lot if they had a tag fighter system because that just again, like thinking about online fighting, like you'd have a team of six. But you have to pick three to bring into like a fight. So you would pick six Pokemon and then three. Like that's how you do it in online fights with uh, 1v1s. So imagine an MVC three type game. Exactly. It would be so good. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll just do it anyway. The dream. I, I do think that. Pokemon, the Pokemon company is always like, this is a game for kids. It's a franchise for kids. Kids are the ones that are supposed to play this and like this and all that. But then they do the shit with like Pokemon Tournament where it's like, okay, we're going to have this extremely complicated system with these characters that are really difficult to learn. And it's like, who are you catering to if you say one thing and do another? Who is this for? Also, oh, who's my biggest opposition here? Probably you. Um, we could basically guarantee that Lekismon has gone, so we'll do that. I'm horribly bad at fighting games, and I just buy that day one. You're not bad, Fagleaf. You just gotta, gotta practice a bit, that's all. Pokemon did basically nothing to appeal to casuals while also making a game that didn't appeal to typical fighting game players. Very weird. It's fun, but weird. Exactly. No, I, I totally agree with you. Half arena fighter, half 2D fighter for basically no one. Yeah. Like, you're not getting both crowds in with that. You're alienating both crowds with that. The people who want to play a 3D arena fighter don't get to all the time, and then vice versa for the 2D fighting uh, fans. Oh, we need to get rid of you, Geogramon. Oh, we're not getting rid of you, Geogramon. Let's try Spider Shooter. Damn it. Nano Machine Breaker. Should take care of that. I never would have tried it if not for Pokemon. Oh yeah, if it was just like this this is our own original franchise. Um kick kicking people eight. No one you're right, no one would try it. <laughs> I think the Pokemon was basically made for exactly me, and I still almost didn't pick it up. I grabbed it on the Wii U, which is the only reason I don't have it on Switch. Um we don't need to use all 20 of that right now. Sure. Okay. Oh, but ho ooh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do that. That's fine.
Yeah, it, I mean, it would be the same for me, too. I also wouldn't even, like, touch it if Pokemon wasn't involved. Even if it was a Digimon game, I'd probably just write it off as, like, oh, it's another Digimon spinoff? No, thank you. It was the opposite for me. If I got it for Wii U, I probably wouldn't have played it so much. Here's the other thing, too. I think they only... I think they had maybe one character. No, I don't think they had any characters that were like DLC or like additional characters. Uh, just attack it. Um, for the Wii U. But then like when the Switch version came out, they were like, we added in all the arcade characters and also some more and like all these cool things. And I'm sitting here like, I already paid $60 for this game. Can't I just have it? Yeah, I think the DLC was Switch exclusive. Exactly. It was like, I think the Wii U, you could like, if you pre-ordered it or something, you got like a Shadow Mewtwo card, so you could unlock Shadow Mewtwo early. So many bad choices, truly, quite sad, yeah. Like, they announced really early on there wasn't gonna be DLC for Pokemon Tournament on Wii U, and I was like, are you sure? Can, can, can we change that idea, please? Uh, we'll just do St. Michael. Yeah, I did try the, like, free weekend for the Switch, and then... I ended up just being like, you know... It's still cool, but I don't need it. i still just rather play Blaze Blue or... Uh, I guess now Melty Blood or something like that. Boom. That did less damage than I thought. Uh, I guess we could try this one. I kind of want to make sure we get rid of another one. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll try the Thunderfall. If not for breaks in, I wouldn't have played it so much. I love her in that game so much. Goodest girl. Oh, you play Blaze Blue? Who do you main? I play Coco Noe. Um, I mostly, well, let's see. Who do I mean? I guess you could say Platinum the Trinity. I'm not good. Like, when I say I play these games, I only play them for fun. But, um... But yeah, I, I, I mostly play as, um... Either Platinum or Ragna. Uh, the Mad Scientist Cat Lady. I love her. That's the best way to play. Yeah, like... I don't consider myself, like, I'm not good at fighting games. I have fun with fighting games, but I'm not good at them. Let me just see if we can attack it to death. Yeah. Um. Going back to Pokemon Tournament for just a quick sec, I'm also very happy they didn't do only final evolutions for fighters. I'm very happy they also threw in, like, Breaks in or uh, Crow Gunk to like, you know. You, you could play as like non fully evolved Pokemon. It's really cool. Uh, but yeah, like with Blaze Blue, I picked it up like back on like the PS3, I think. And yeah, just, I, I liked playing as like Tao Kaka back then, but like. She's not in cross tag battle, which I really like playing. In cross tag battle, I also main like, oh, as uh, Azazel, Azriel, I forget which one it is. I think it's Azazel. I main him too. He's fun. I like characters that are just like, oh, you have a big sword here. Let me punch you to death. <laughs> So like I'll play with like him and like Yang in cross tag battle. 
Because uh, Yang's my punchy girl. I forgot she's not in that. I wonder why. Everyone loves Sakaka. She's so good. There's like so many omissions to like cross tag battle where I'm just like, how? How? I think I was talking to somebody about it the other day, actually. Where like Taokaka didn't get in. And like, our, I don't think Arakune got in. Um, Bang Shishigami didn't get in. And I'm just like, why? It's all right there already. Just tweak the auto combo thing and throw them in, please. She's like if Felicia was cooler. She's like if Felicia was even more unhinged. Exactly. Now like, uh, cross tag battles, balance. I don't know what the meta is like whatsoever, but I'm sure it can't be like great. They even like, give us the bug, give us the goopy boy. Give us the goopy lad. I'd have to look at the roster again, but I know there's like way more characters that just didn't make it in that probably should have. But yeah, I know they went back and gave a uh, central fiction, I think it is. Um, they went back and gave that rollback netcode. But then I don't think they did the same for cross tag battle. I could be wrong. I might not have like heard, but like I, I really do think that cross tag battle was just like an experiment that they were just like, all right. After all the DLC they made, they were like, okay, we're done with this now. I think they did actually, but I'm not sure. If they did, that'd be great. I'll buy that shit again on like Steam, but I basically in certain situations the team can touch of death, so it's not balanced in a way that new character would hurt. Okay. So there's like certain team comps where like you can just like tap somebody and then that character is dead probably. I don't know if it's pledge allegiance to you go. I don't want to make her angry. The demons and Zaxxon will clash. Is Kay going to make a move? She's at the hospital again. Yeah, but as long as you have the resources, it's brutal. Oh, okay. I'm glad I don't play like that. <laughs> no point in thinking about it now. I'll go get Erica. I kind of wanted to explore under Kowloon a little bit more. I can't do it, but I kind of want to learn it. I mean, you have fun with that. <laughs> I I have attempted to learn, like, you know, like actually learn a fighting game multiple times. But when I get into like the heat of it, my fingers just want to do whatever they do. It It's not something I can like, change unfortunately like i could spend like hours learning like stuff in the tutorial mode and then as soon as i get into it it's just like nope that's all out of the window <sighs> okay it's just a treatment she didn't have another episode そう、記憶を絵で見える記憶サーバーにアップデートして、その後私の脳による記憶を消す作業のことだよ。記憶がなくなっただけじゃないわ。脳から記憶サーバーへ記憶を引っ越しさせたって感じかな。そう、she has to get rid of yeah, it's less fun. I'd say the only fun of high level play for me is a sense of growth. There's so much to deal with if you want to get good. It's real overwhelming, at least for me. I, I totally get that. It's one of those things where like, it's kind of the same thing with speedrunning a lot of games, where I feel like I could learn and grow and get to the point where I'm like, amazing at this thing, but then it would suck 
all the actual fun out of like playing it. Like that's the reason I don't want to speed run a lot of games. It's because I, if I feel like I did, if I ever wanted to actually just replay it for fun, I would still just habitually do the speed strats. You know, I don't mind doing it with like a Kirby game that I don't revisit a lot, like yeah. Kirby in Dreamland or Kirby's Adventure. Did I enjoy the festival? Um, or maybe like an older Pokemon game that they've remade that to the point where it's like the story's the same, but everything's so different, like Fire Red instead of Red or something. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna toot my own horn here too much, but when my friend group started getting into fighting games a little bit, like a little bit more, um, there was always like one person in the group that was better at them than me. But like when they weren't around, I was usually the one that was just kind of like dominating. So it wasn't like fun to just like trounce people. My friend group has gotten better, thankfully. But for the most part, um, for a while there, it was just like not fun to play fighting games. And I wasn't even that good. I was just like a little bit better. Like I think, I could be wrong, but if I remember correctly, Back in like high school when we played a shitload of um melee, usually I would win. Um, until one of my friends went away to like camp, came back and was like, Yeah, I uh, I started I was playing a bunch of melee there and I learned how to play Marth, and then it was all downhill from there. <laughs> Uh, but then I made Meta Knight and Brawl before I knew how broken he actually was, so it was fine. <laughs> and then, like, we had another friend that came into the group, uh, taught us about, like, Blaze Blue. That's when I fell in love with it. And, like, when they weren't around, if you ever played Blaze Blue, I was great at that. Same with, like, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And... To not not so much like we were playing injustice, but like that was a little more even ground, I wanna say. Huh? The waitress isn't here today. Waitress? You mean that Yuri you got the hots for? She hasn't been doing as many shifts lately. No way! If I don't see her, my heart will wither and die. It's hard on me because it means I have to do more shifts. Please ask Yonder to hire more people. It looks like they're short-staffed. Running cutie must be hard work. <laughs> I have that problem too, but after literally dozens of hours of uh, failing, getting better at not failing, uh, it's not a skill you learn, it's just a habit you practice. And you literally can't understand. You have to learn it without thinking. It's very hard to describe. There's the understanding of principles and the understanding of execution that you literally can't explain the second. Yeah, it's... It's, it's difficult. I haven't checked the board lately. I use a PC and see if any cases have come in. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right, so we got some training done. So what kind of music do you like to listen to? Okay, I hope we have the same taste in music because if we don't, our friendship's gonna be bad. Listen up, which of the following does not wear a scarf? Ooh. I think it's Pile Volcomon. Can you tell me if any of your voice characters? Um, um, yeah, that weird guy. Oh, weird one. Okay. I enjoy execution heavy games, so it's fun for me. But when you try hard and expect to do good, it's just a lot of pressure. So it's just less fun. Exactly. I prefer to just go with the flow, you know? Five new cases. 
Okay, let's actually go to the Digilab first. Okay, we gotta get Sleuthin again. Command, train, uh, leisure course. But the more I get good is actually kind of universal. Playing Dark Souls and fighting games just made me better at stuff. My reaction is better, my awareness is better. Feels good to be sharper, but it's, uh, it's not a more fun way to play games. Just turns into work. Very uncozy. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Like, the skills transfer pretty easily between games. Oh, not move. Wanna see what we can do for digivolving. Uh, but yeah, it makes sense that the skills transfer, especially when you have mechanics that are like dodge and whatnot. Intelligence 74, max SP. Actually, Woodmon's really close to being able to digivolve. So that's good. Yeah, you seem to be a higher level. Still. Okay, that's all good then. No need to recover. Alright. But yeah, no, I, I totally get what you mean. It's, it's like at what point when playing a video game, if you're like trying super hard, like at what point is it not fun anymore? Which is, of course, subjective. This is that domination battle again. Okay, let's see. Hard worker. Uh, durability patch, lively patch. Uh, agility boost, critical boost. Study room. What? SP generator. Ooh. Okay. These are the two missions we have to do to progress the story, though. So I guess we'll start, um, see like, I don't really want the patches or the boosts because they're not that good. I never use the boosts and I'm probably not gonna use the patches for a while either. So I guess we'll start with this one. Oh, pardon me. It's a case from an Inodin teacher. He never taught me, but he might recognize my face. Hmm. I don't think it would be a good idea to talk to him. I'll ask Ryuji to do it. A case from a teacher at your old high school. I see your predicament. Oh. I'll talk to him for you if you want. You stay out of sight. Okay. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, beep. Pleased to meet you. Thank you for taking my case. I am Matsuyama. I teach Japanese at Indonhan High Inoden High School. I am also the guidance counselor. I contacted you to investigate an incident of a group cheating in a cl certain class. I don't want news of this getting out. Students' futures are at stake. Whatever you do, don't let the police know. I understand. Please give me the details. We discovered that a group of students cheated on the last midterm test. All 40 students in the class were involved. Shouldn't you just punish them? We have no evidence and don't know how they did it, so we can't punish- do, What, do they all get perfect scores? Like, what's going on? Um... Second. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, honestly, my mental health made it hard to be aware of what I was feeling. And my ADHD really liked the hyper focus on labbing fighting games. Now that I'm recovering, my desire to grind out combos has sort of waned. 
Sounds about right to me. It's just like, I don't know, personally, I don't like doing the same thing over and over again. I think because I might have ADD, I don't know. I've never been tested, but it's one of those things where I definitely hyper-focus and then lose interest like really quickly. So. <laughs> then how do you know they cheated? Grade three, class C's test results improved very suddenly and their answers to the essay questions were identical. Maybe they used phones or digivices or maybe they somehow got hold of the questions before the test. Students are forbidden from having electronic devices on them during the test and a student did try to steal the test paper, but he failed. Since that incident, the test papers have been kept under lock and key. But that hasn't stopped this class from cheating somehow. I'm certain they found a way to smuggle in a small device and use it to cheat. Then why not single out one student, put the pressure on, and get them to confess? The one who tried to steal the test paper, for example. It was uh, Shigen Nobu from, class, uh, from grade 3, class C. I've already talked to him multiple times. But he just keeps saying he doesn't know anything about it. He won't say anymore. Kids in the class bully him into doing things for them. We've tried dealing with it, but they've threatened him not to tell anyone. Jesus Christ. I still like it, but my priorities are shifting because my brain can do all kinds of things now. Nice. Well, I'm glad that uh, you're able to focus on multiple things. Putting pressure on him and trying to get a confession would make his situation even worse. So he won't do anything until we've heard uh, we have hard evidence. We can't just rush in and solve problems with force like teachers did back in the old days. I mean, that's true. It must be tough being a teacher these days. It certainly is. So what do you think about this incident? I'd like to hear your views. It sounds like they use some kind of device. There are ones now that are smaller than a P, but I doubt high school students would be able to get their hands on anything that sophisticated. If they did, not even a strip search would be able to find them. Okay. There are limits to what can be detected by the naked eye. Have you considered approaching a specialist? Of course we tried that. We hired someone to deploy a body scanner at the classroom door. Jesus Christ! How bad are these kids that they need to, like... Scanned them while walking into the class. He didn't find anything. Those students sure are cunning. You're our last hope. We're willing to pay whatever you ask. Please help us. I would like eight memory ups. It seems like we're at the. It seems like we're the right people for this job. We'll investigate how the students pulled it off. Thank you. Please contact me as soon as you find anything. Welcome back, Luke. Sounds saucy. That's what I'm saying. We'll start by running background checks on all the students. All 40 of them. It's going to be hard work. That goes for you too, Sean. You did take this case after all. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Ruji wants me to ask students from other classes about grade 3, class C. No one in the third grade should know me, I hope. Still, it better be careful. Well, put your hood up or something. Answer is Lekismon. Aww. I got it wrong. Boy, it sounds like we got a... Uh, we got a Among Us. Well, so... It's all 40 students who supposedly cheated, so... It, all, all the kids right now are sus. Grade 3, Class C. I don't really want anything to do with that class. I heard most of the bad kids in third grade are in that class. I even saw a group of them yelling at a boy named Shingenobu, who was in my class last year. Wait, so grade 3... Are their grades similar to American grades? Cause like, 
That would mean that they're like, what, 10 at most? Hold on, when was I in the third grade? I have to, hold on, let me. <coughs> um. Let's see, I was in 12th grade in 2008. So if I was in, let's see, so nine years previous to that, so I would have been like eight or nine in the third grade. So how old are we? <laughs> that that kid that looked like us was also in the third grade. Huh, anything strange about the kids in grade three, class C, I've got a friend in class C. He started wearing contact lenses all of a sudden, which is weird because his eyesight's always been fine. When I asked him when he started needing glasses, he said he doesn't, but still has to wear them. I don't know what's up with him. Okay, real talk. Um, I would actually love to have glasses or contacts or some sort of like pop-up thing where I can like just kind of see internet stuff, like, like look up stuff. Not look up stuff. You know what I mean, though. There we go. Our shirt collection, I think, is complete now. Like, Google Glass. I want Google Glass. But, like, you know, still functional. Heck yes, I want AR. Spe yeah, AR. That's, that's the one. Uh, in anime, there's only four ages. Baby, child, adult, and old. That's... <laughs> That's not wrong. I have a bunch of stories I want to write about it, too. It's just, like, it's such a cool concept, being able to just, like... Just, just have a heads-up display for, like, shit. Like, just walking around, just boom, like, in your eye, there's a notification or something. Uh, grade three, class C, that's C class next to mine. You looking into go uh, for gossip about them? Ever heard them saying everyone's going to perfectly thank to... Everything is going perfectly thanks to the rabbits. I had no idea what they were talking about, though. Maybe they said mice? Whatever they said, it was some kind of small furry animal. Maybe it was the rats. How's it going? Found anything? Great. Tell me when you get back. Sorry for making you go. Didn't any of the students recognize you? It's fine. Yes, it's a super powerful. It's a superpower. And a second dimension. So cool to me. It's so useful, too. While you're asking around, I found out some things about the hacking tool. Let's meet a Hudi to share what we found and discuss how to proceed. I just like, oh, it'd be so neat to just like have a display of like, oh, what time is it? Let me just look forward. Oh, it's this time. Several days later. What the hell? <laughs> it took me that long to get back? Have there been any developments? Yes, we've identified the tool they used to cheat. What was it? It's called a mole. It's extremely dangerous and it sails uh have been has been its sale has been banned we found that 40 of them have recently been purchased on eden's black market the exact number of students in grade c uh grade three class c could have just said the class right my colleague investigated where they were shipped to it's an area where the students in that class live it appears that the students conspire to acquire its, this banned mole tool but what exactly is it? It's a miniature wearable computer. Basically a mobile device that you can wear. Unless the user log into Eden from anywhere. It's impossible to tell if someone's wearing one just by looking. Even the latest scanners can't detect it. It's not only small, but incredibly hard to see. It's made of materials that are almost indistinguishable from the human body. How is it worn? It's like a set of contact lenses and earpieces. 
They're worn on the surface of the eye and in the ear. So that's why we didn't notice. I never knew such a thing existed. But why has it been banned? People have run into trouble while logged in with the device. Transferring money to an unknown account. Attacking strangers in the street. Things like that. But all those arrested have no memory of those things taking place. So what's going on? Does wearing a mole make you go insane or something? No, but hackers are behind it. Hacking a mole user allows you to temporarily control their actual body for some reason. Is that not possible with just the digivices we have if those got hacked? That's crazy! How is that possible? No one knows. Even the manufacturer and Kamashiro haven't been able to figure it out. That's why it's been banned. It's possible that it sends signals to nerves and muscle tissue somehow. But that's only a conjecture. Actually, <laughs> speaking of sending signals to nerves and muscles, I don't know if anyone's familiar with... God, I don't remember his name. Hold on. Let me check. Let me also fix that. Give me a minute, because I'm going to have to go back to yesterday's videos. Michael Reeves. He uh, he builds stuff on YouTube. Um, kind of... I don't know what to call him. He's not nice, <laughs> but um, his videos are pretty funny, I will say, for the most part. And he, he builds things like a Roomba that every time it crashes into a wall, it swears really loudly. But he was in Creator Clash, so he basically built a human um, Rock'em Sock'em Robots by attaching electrodes to uh the person's like arms so it would send a signal to actually like send out a punch it was scary as fuck but also pretty cool you can check it out if you want also not sponsored with no affiliation to michael reeves but i thought it was kind of funny electrical signals control the movement of the human body and very little is known about the di uh, digitization of mental data in Eden. How could something so dangerous fall into the hands of a kid? Of kids. We have, to conf we have to confiscate them, and soon. Of course, but don't do anything yet. If we tip our hands, some of the kids might get rid of the devices. To make sure we don't miss a single one, we need to catch them red-handed. You're right, but how? When's the next test? Tomorrow? It's the first of the finals. Good. Give the test as normal and we'll catch them in the act. One more. One more. Still not sponsored. Yep. <laughs> Understood. Stopping the cheating is important, but please make confiscating the moles your top priority. Tomorrow, we'll log into Eden and find the students using the moles. We have to determine if they really are using the moles to cheat. But why would they use such a dangerous tool just to cheat on tests? There might be another reason. I'm wondering if the kid that they've been bullying is just like doing, like making them do this or something. Maybe to get the entire class expelled. Oh, I'm getting hungry. I'm gonna try to go to 1.30 though. <clears throat> How are things on your end? All 40 students are in the classroom. Has the test started? Yes, they've started writing. It really doesn't look like they're cheating. Alright, here I go. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, I'm in. Just as we thought, they're all in Eden. But how? They're all taking the test. We just went over this. A hacker must be controlling them. I think I get it now. What's going on? There's no time. I'll explain later. Just continue the test for now. BRB, okie dokie. Sean, do you know where the students are? Yep. I got the URL. So they skipped out on the test and hidden in that place. 
It's only natural. They'd get caught right away in any of the public areas. Let's sorry, they'll disappear when the test finishes. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, can I buy anything useful from here yet? Nope. Maybe someday. Ooh, hello. Here come cheese uh, to get. Can't take too much, but man, it's good. But get what? <laughs> Oh yeah, I kind of wanted to explore under Kowloon 3 a little bit more. I'm going to go do that. Screw the kids. I got Digimon to find. There's acceleration. Okay, seems like those tamers cleared out. around there okay we got thunder fall too Gale Storm 1? Ooh, hell yeah. Nice. Aha! Jude memory? Oh, I sure have a nice bloodbath. My oh goodness, my little axe and me are gonna pay you a visit. Okay. Did not see that coming. Ooh, hell yeah! I was hoping for a cross. Ooh, so close. So close, but Gale Storm can. Go to the Demi Devilmon at least. A cool mod's fast. Wait, no, I think it's actually just slow. <laughs> Never mind. I was like, what? It can go twice in a row? But uh, it, it actually went after the other two Digimon, though, so. No new skills. Restoration. Wakey, wakey. Haha, -ha, you saved my bacon. What a delight. Here, have this and a big smile to go with it. Barbamon. Medicinal spray. All right. What's there? I don't want to fall down there. Nothing down here either. Okay. I guess that's actually all we really needed, so we'll just use the, the gate to go back, I suppose. Oh, all right, we leveled up, so I don't need to recover. Okay. Never mind. Oh, 
All right, well, that was just a quick little detour. There's some kids over there. Looks like there's no power. Okay. Gosh, I gotta go to the bathroom again. Wait, aren't those kids in class C? They're talking about something, but we're too far away to hear. There are probably more kids inside. We can't let them get wind of the get wind of us. So how can we get closer without them noticing us? This is cyberspace and we're hackers. There must be a way. Yeah, it's South Hyde. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing to do at this time of the day. I'm so bored. Still, it's better than taking a test. Isn't the class almost over? Let's go back to the others. <coughs> the test about to finish. Let's go. Oh, damn. That's a lot of kids. There they are. And then he fell over. Seriously? That's so funny. I see. So they're all hanging out here. Hey, Shigenobu. You better not screw up this test for us or you'll be sorry. Okay, so he's not in Well, he is in control, but they're still forcing him. Uh, no, I won't. And don't write the same answers like last time. They'll know we cheated. Sorry, I'll be more careful this time. Tagashi, your dad's the best. I love this tool. I wonder why they don't sell it in stores. I don't know, but it's good for us. You should be happy, Shigenobu. You're finally making yourself useful. Um, yeah. <laughs> right? We're real grateful. And you should be grateful to us, too. <laughs> so that's what's going on. The class three students are making Shigenobu take the test for them. He's the one controlling them back in the classroom. He's impressive. Maybe we should hire him on. Controlling one or two people is hard enough, but 40? And writing different answers for each person? Why would someone that smart let people like them push him around? He's smart, but not tough. I get it. He's smart, but not brave enough to stand up to them. He must be so frustrated. Uh, looks like the test finished. It's finished. Let's go back. Let's get back. Shigenobu, see you tomorrow for the next test. What if Shigenobu is us? I hate them. I hate them so much. I'll make them all pay. They're my puppets. During the next test, that'll be my chance. You'll pay. You'll pay. You'll all pay for what you've done. I mean, good. This isn't good. Hmm? Don't you get it? He has temporary control over more than three dozen people. If I was tormenting someone like that, there's no way I'd ever let my victim have that kind of control over me. It looks like they don't even know what he can, uh, that he can control them. Even though that's the exact thing that they're doing right now. Based on how they're acting just now, they don't seem to have the slightest idea how the moles work. It sounds like the Takashi kid, Takashi kid's dad obtained them illegally and gave them to his son. What was he thinking? 
now we know they got the devices. Now we know how they got the devices and how they're cheating. We should probably stop them. Hmm. But they deserve a, to suffer a little first. I agree. I gotta say, I do agree. Although we have no idea what Shigenobu is actually gonna do. The next day. Not another test. Chill out. It's not as if we have to take it. You're right about that. Ha ha ha. Hey, Shigenobu, hurry up and get ready. The test's about to start. Shigenobu? No. What do you mean, no? I, I, I'm through with doing what you say. Look, you're not taking a test today. You're doing something else. What's that? Our classroom? Huh? Everyone's standing up, but the bell hasn't rung yet. The test isn't over yet, right? Yeah, hey, what are you doing? The test isn't finished. What? Arg! Huh? Am I hitting the teacher? Hey, what are you doing that for? I'm not. My body's moving by itself. Um. What the? We're all holding knives? What are we going to do? Oh my god. <laughs> it's actually terrifying. Stop. Stop this right now. No. Please. Stop. Stop. Um. I didn't expect this to become Danganronpa. Oh no. No, we couldn't have. What's going on? This is a little on Ryuji for letting them suffer. We've gone out of the classroom and started climbing the stairs. What is this? You should know. You're the ones who made me use this tool. What? Weren't you taking the test for us? Yeah, I was controlling your bodies and taking the test. Then I thought I'd do a little experiment. Figure out how much control I have over you. Didn't the thought ever enter your minds? If I can make you write the answers, what else could I make you do? No way. Um... I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Uh, content warning? We're gonna we're gonna say content warning. I I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna say content warning just in case. Hey, we're going up to the roof. The roof is Shigenobu making us do it. Hey, Shigenobu, stop! This isn't funny. Look, you're all climbing over the railings, one after the other. Such a neat row of students. Watch closely. You look like crazy lemling lemmings, don't you think? Who wants to go first? I know. Let's go in alphabetical order. Abe's first. No way. Shigenobu, please, stop! Three, two, one. Jump. Oh my god. Huh. I think Ryuji fucked up. Arg. My body, it j j jumped off the roof. Now for the next 10. Here goes. Holy shit! What the fuck? I signed up to play a Digimon game! I wanted to play a little game with friendly little monster guys! What the fuck? This is getting boring. Now for the rest of you. Oh my 
god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> There. That didn't take too long. You've all jumped off the roof. Luke, I'm just gonna say that's probably a very inappropriate time for that. <laughs> Are we... dead? Yep. Dead as dodos. All of you. How do you like that? I bet you wish you didn't push me around so much now. You don't like it when I push back, do you? This is my revenge. The teacher and all of you are dead. You're lying. We're still here, right? Hey, I can't log out. You have nobody to go back to. And I created this cyberspace. If I delete it, you'll disappear forever. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha. Feel better now? Uh, who are you? Hackers, your teacher hired. We've come to confiscate the moles. You've had your fun. We enjoyed the show. I'm wondering just how much that tool is capable of. The show? How could you say that? As an impartial third party observer, though, I have to say. It was a very cowardly act. C cowardly Getting revenge in a way that didn't give them the chance to fight back. Cowardly is definitely the word. No one could respect you for doing something like that. And what do you know? I have returned. I have made lemonade. Welcome back, cat. You missed quite the show. You don't get it. They pick on me every single day, tormenting me and making fun of me. You can never understand what it's like to have people laughing at you and hitting you. I had to do it. No one understands my pain. Oh heck, what I missed. Uh, this guy, I'm gonna say right now, supposedly made his entire class kill their teacher and then jump off the roof against their will. I'm guessing Ryuji and the protag did something to like make him think that's what happened, but we'll see. That's why I did it. Sorry, that's why I did what I did. They all deserved it. Not even you're now even you're making fun of me. Oh no, oh god, oh heck, I forgot about the storyline. I had no idea it was happening. I'll make you jump off a roof just like them. You can use Digimon too. Yeah, this guy, this guy's no good. Yeah, hey, don't get me wrong. They shouldn't be making fun of him, but at the same time, like, holy crap. Uh, let's try to get rid of you. Oh, spider shooter. Yeah, we'll do it on Greymon. And nano machine break. Yeah. Ooh, I did not do as much as I was hoping. Just like I was not expecting that. And I realized it's probably they're probably just gonna be like, ha, huh, we made you think that with it's hacking. But at the same time, it's like oof. You, you could have stopped that a bit sooner. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try this. <clears throat> okay.
Down goes Greymon. Yup. <laughs> Arg. Do you feel better this time? I wasn't making fun of you. I'm impressed by your determination. But you went about it all wrong. Surely you know that better than anyone. I do. I should feel better. But I just feel regret. What have I done? I... I've killed people. Lots of people. <laughs> Wah. You think crying will make it better? You murderer. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Oh, goodness. Here's the thing, right? I feel like these two answers should be the same one. It should be like, you have no right to blame him, but what he did was wrong too. Cause like, they drove him to this, but he still murdered. Neither of these are good. Because yes, what he did was wrong, but he's not the only one to blame. If I had, if I had to pick a side, if I had to, I would pick his but only because like there were 39 kids bullying the shit out of this one guy and making him do whatever they wanted. And it, you know, like that's wrong. What he did was also wrong though. I, I, I need to make that clear. <laughs> exactly. Who pushed him to do it? You morons, that's who. We know. We don't need you to say it. We've been bullying him and pushing him around for so long. It's only natural that he hates us. I'm sorry, Shigenobu. I... I'm sorry, too. I never wanted this to happen. I mean, that's a lie. It looks like you've all learned your lesson. Okay, Sean. Now. Beep boop bop boop beep boop beep. Area networks restored. You can log out now. Go back to school and take the test properly. Uh, but how? Aren't we dead? What you saw was one of Shigenobu's memories. Memories aren't just a log of things that have actually happened. I extracted the fantasy of what he was planning to do to you, converted it to data, and recreated it in cyberspace. <sighs> You're not really dead. You're sitting at your desk in the classroom while Mr. Matsuyama keeps an eye on you. Converted it to data? But how? Only a top hacker could do something like that. Of course, it's impossible to access people's memories in Eden. But there's a brief window when new memories you've just created can be copied before they're saved on the server. Luckily, you've been thinking about your plan over and over again for the last few days. I just waited for that window and took the data. Then I just recreated it in cyberspace to match your inputs. It took a lot of time to adjust the data because they were fantasies and not memories of things that actually happened. The images were fuzzy. We stayed up all night doing it and legally it's a gray area. Basically, it was a lot of work. And you can't sue us. So, none of it was real? How do you know how to do that? And how do you know how memory data works? Who are you? One of our hackers has a special talent when it comes to memory data. But we couldn't log out. I temporarily cut this whole area off from the network. You couldn't log out because the signal was too weak. So I'm alive? What a relief. I hope this makes you think about how you behaved. If this is real, you wouldn't have a second chance like this. I get it. I won't do anything like that again. And you're going to tell us everything about how you and your father got the moles. Names, places, everything. Gulp? So, so I haven't killed anyone? Exactly. It was all virtual. 
If I feel this bad, even though it was just virtual, how'd I feel if I really had killed them? You've been through one hell of a simulation. Thank you for stopping me. No problem. By the way, I told your teacher about all this. He's got a message for you. After apologizing to Shingen Shingenobu, you will all take makeup tests for all subjects. If anyone is caught cheating, everyone will repeat the third grade. What? What do you mean, what? I'd said he's been le I'd say he's been lenient. I guess taking makeup tests and repeating the third grade are nothing compared to being dead. You're right. I'll try my best to do it on my own this time. And good luck to you, Shigenobu. Thanks. Now they're all best friends, even though he just murdered them all. That case was a lot of trouble, and I made Erica do something that might not be entirely legal. Huh? How did I know Erica can manipulate memory data? Didn't she tell you? Her memory data has been moved to an Eden server. Her brain is an actual server itself. She adjusts her own memory data. That's why she knows how, to wor how it works. She'd always been a great hacker because of me. But after her accident being treated by Kamashiro, she actually surpassed me. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, but talking helps. Have you heard of the brain in a vat hypothesis? It posits that the world you see is a virtual world that your brain shows you, just like Eden. Uh... I can't really explain it properly, but... For Erica, the memories here in Eden are her. For me too. The digitized Erica is the real her. Okay. When you think of it like that, maybe the virtual murders Shigenobu just committed are actually no different from killing people in real life. Okay, you're getting a little existential on me, bud. I'm playing a Digimon game. I'm playing a game about a little fire lizard that turns into a bigger fire lizard that has like a, has like a paunch. Okay, that, that mission was a lot, right? It's not just me. Saving the pair of swords wielded by Grademon. Oh, sure. Like. Wow. I knew they were gonna at the end just be like, haha, we hacked it, so that's what you saw. But at the same time, it's like that's still not okay. <laughs> okay, um uh, we're gonna have you investigate again. All right. So we're probably gonna turn this quest in and I think call it a day. Cause I still gotta use the bathroom and I'm getting hungry, so. I do wanna know what study room means though. It's not like an item, is it? <laughs> oh, it is. Okay. So it increases intelligence, enhanced through training. Okay, cool. I think this game touches a lot on darker upsetting things because of the ghost themes I like that about games but i can't say that i love that aspect of it yeah it's it's weird because you again it's like it's digimon right and that has so many parallels with pokemon even if digimon does touch on darker elements 
from time to time, especially in like the anime. Um, I, I just watched, well, I didn't watch. I just read 40 students killing their teacher and then jumping off of a building to their death. That is so incredibly fucked up. Even if it all just was a simulation, that's still wild. Like, again, my comparison to Danganronpa, I don't think went amiss. Down to, like, the pink blood splatter. Like, it was, it was like someone just played the first Danganronpa and went like, let's do something like that for one of the missions. And it's like, yeah, I'm glad you had that epiphany. But at the same time, this is Digimon we're talking about. I don't know if something like that is really appropriate, you know? I don't know. I know Digimon Survive. I I don't know anything about it other than there are multiple storylines and that it gets really dark. So maybe that touches on it even more. But still, I just... Ugh. Oh boy. Anyway, I th I think I need to call it a day. That was a lot. Let me let me go save. So we don't have to do that again. We're going to raid Figleaf. Cuz Figleaf is live right now uh playing Pokémon. Although it seems he is on a Uh, a little bit of a break. Uh, I think what I liked best was the game, the base game where the smug girlfriend made a gang and tried to build a community around helping Digimon. I would love to play that game. Thanks for streaming. Thank you for coming by, Cat. You and Luke and everyone else, much appreciated. I do agree that that storyline was actually like pretty great just because. What? Hold on. What do you mean? There we go. Okay, now it's working. Okay. But yeah, I agree. Like, that storyline's pretty good, where, you know, it's about, like, helping Digimon who are oppressed. That's, like, the right level of, like, kind of dark, but not, like, overwhelmingly dark, you know? Because, like, these Digimon are oppressed and need help, and you help them. Anyway, we're going to call it here. Monday, we should be playing more River City Girls 2. Wednesday, we're going to be doing that side content in Yakuza Kiwami 2. And then Friday, I don't know what's happening Friday. I might start um, Dream Drop Distance. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for me. Have a good weekend.